So you went on to build a secondary and primary at the same time? Yes. It's, it's, it's a lot of sacrifice and a lot of support, you know, I'm, my wife supports me throughout. You told me last time we met that if you really want to make money, you have to go into farming and education. Yeah, not just those two. There are, there are many other sectors, mm. but for me, those are the core sectors. Okay. Because everyone wants to eat. Uh, yeah, and yeah. And after they eat, they want to, their children to be educated. Exactly. <laughs> or the other way, people would rather not eat meat but eat vegetables, but having paid fees. Those two <laughs> correlate, they move together. Oh. So, 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 so those are the sectors I, I, I chose because of the need and the demand. Because uh, those are basic needs for everyone. Yes. Education and eating. Exactly. Yeah. If I was a doctor, I would have had medical experience. I would have opened a clinic as well. But for now, those are the two things I, I, I focus on because I've got experience and I've gone to school for those things. What do you want to be when you finish school? What's your dream? Well, I want to be a big artist. Mm. But then I also want to do real estate. Clever boy. <laughs> as young as you are, you're thinking about real estate. Who told you about real estate? Well, my dad has a real estate company. Okay. So then I'm very interested in the way he transforms houses, transforms buildings. So I also want to do that because that's very interesting. The joy he puts on people's faces when he makes their dream house, I also want to put that joy in other people's lives. That's amazing. So can you sing for me? Like, I, I want to hear the voice. Do you know any gospel song? Yeah. You can actually sing that one. Imela, Imela, Okaka, Oekerua, Imela, Oh, Imela, Esmo. My bro, <laughs> that's amazing. Well, well, I can tell you this, that you have what it takes to become big. And I tell you this today, no dream is too big and no dream is too small. The, the world is yours. Like you said, um, I was afraid before I went on stage, but when I was on stage, the, f the gear shifted. Do that. Wherever you go, be confident. Go crazy. You have what it takes. Thanks. And I'm, I'm proud of you. Keep on winning. Keep on being confident. You're very confident. You win. In the year, I made a school. Yes. How did you do it? Um, like I said, just the exposure of, yes. of, of, of being in Australia. Mm. Uh, when I was in university, I was an academic officer for, for university, Monash University. Okay. okay. That I was representing students oh, in, the, in okay. the student council. So then I just gained interest in, um, in education. Then when I came back from Australia, I saw that there was need for, 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 for change uh -huh, okay. in some of our education aspects yeah. in the private sector, okay. our private schools. You know, there are some of the private schools don't offer, besides education, they don't offer extra activities or curriculum activities mm. like your sports, you know, and that's, that's, that's what I've been putting work in and trying to, to expose uh, our students in the country. It's, it's, it's a lot of sacrifice and a lot of support, you know, my wife supports me throughout. Oh, that's amazing. So it's just a lot of, of, of focus, of discipline, yeah. and we're here surrounding yourself with the people who support you. The you right don't have a situation where you start a business and people are saying, you're yeah, wasting your time. Oh. She supports me even in the hardest of times. So, so that's, 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 but it's not everyone who's got that same support. But we are here, that's why I'm always telling people, let's network. So you've been back in Zimbabwe for how many years? I came back in 2018. 2018? From Australia, yes. And you've managed to build a legacy like this? I've managed to build through the help of God, obviously. Yes. Yes, through the help of God and um, putting my focus to it. And the exposure, if you've got the exposure, you can do anything. Look at you, 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 you your, your content is growing because of exposure yes. and how much time you put into it and the love, you've got the love for it, man. The yeah. fact that you've come back here <laughs> yes. two days later means you, you've got love for because it. Because I was happy, once you told me about this, I was happy. I wanted to meet the students yes. and everything that is happening here. Yes. And I'm happy to see that Everything is going well. Well, we've got a lot of students representing um, um, the country yes. in so many in so many fields. Exactly. Uh, last year, the junior mayor was from this school. That's the amazing. junior mayor of Ferrari was from this school. So that exposure, that's what we are trying to bring to to the parents and to the students. I think at the end of the day, the business of education is not easy, is it? It's not easy because you are trying to change lives 
if I make a mistake, it affects the kids. Oh, okay. So, so it's a lot of planning, yes. a lot of strategizing, yes. a lot of having Christian values in yourself. If mm. I tell you my structure, I've got a school chaplain mm. who is in charge of the Christian grooming of the students. Mm. I've got a headmaster who's in charge of the academics. I've got uh, student welfare who's in charge of the students counseling. Mm. And I also have a sports director who's in charge of sports activities for the students. So it's a lot of putting people in place and a lot of structuring and a lot of funding in the first few years. So you knew that Christian values would actually play a major role in molding these students? Yeah, the world, the world, the world is, 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 is turning bad. You see, there's a lot of things that are happening yes. and we have to protect the children. That's why we do the Christian school that's anchored on the Christian values. Sometimes. Yes, so every morning they do morning devotions before they start school. They do afternoon devotions when, before they go home and they do evening devotions. Wow. Yeah, because we have to teach them from a very young age. That's why we call it Femme Foundation. It doesn't Femme mean foundation. foundation. We are preparing those students to be firm in whatever they do. If they go to America, they won't be moved by those who are doing drugs, by those who bully others, because we have created, instilled Christian values in them. That some parents might be too busy to do that, exactly. but we do it for them. So there are a lot of schools who are very good when it comes with results, yeah. but we've got the results. Like I told you, our computer science had 100% pass rate. Yes, I talked to Princess. Yeah, she did we had well. a very good exam, but at the same time, we are grooming them the Christian values of, of, of it. So then we, we are not just focusing on education alone, but the whole aspect or the whole well-being of a child. That's, that's amazing. Yes. So here we've got about what, 360 students. 360. Yeah, and we are opening. We want to be in every province in Zimbabwe. We want, because we need these Christian schools. That's good. In every, every province. Also, you see it as a necessity to have Christian schools everywhere. Everywhere, yes. We need to have those Christian schools everywhere that, that, that are, are not just based on, 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 on one church. Like you see, Roman Catholics have their own schools. Yes, yes. But we also have to accommodate for those who are not Roman Catholics yes. or who are not Methodists. Yes, yes, a school yes, that yes. everyone is welcome. So what is the name of your school? Film Foundation Christian Academy. How is it? Personally, it's great for me. I've learned a lot. Okay. Uh, my leadership skills have increased. Ah, I've I see. learned to be an independent woman and yeah. Which grade are you? I've been form four. Form four? Yes. You're writing this year? Yes. Are you not scared? Not really. Uh, our teachers give us a platform where we explore different things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they're great, so there's nothing I have to be afraid of. You're my tour guide, so let's <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's okay. go. Okay. So where are we starting with? So let's start with the auditorium. So okay. yeah, this is the auditorium. This ah. is where we eat. Okay. Yeah, do discussions. Yeah. When you want to start the green lessons, you can come in here. Are you a prefect? Yes, I am. Ah, that's nice. It feels great, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does, kind of. <laughs> but we have different departments. I'm a prefect of entertainment. Oh, prefect of entertainment. I see. <laughs> so this is our reception. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the front door and everything. Ah. And this is our director. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this uh, is outside? Yes, this is the entrance of the school. So you're actually telling me that you learned to be confident here? Yeah, I started my high school. Let me just say I started my high school, yeah? Yeah. And it has given me room to explore a lot of things. We go out, yeah. we interact with different people. Yeah. Yeah, and it has made me who I am right now. So it's, 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 is it a boarding school? Yeah, it's mixed boarding and day board. So you are? I am a boarder. Boarder. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a parking lot for school buses I only. see that she has a, a, yeah. a lot of buses here. Yeah, yeah the, uh, <laughs> these are only two. The others are currently not here. Dead hostel. But yeah, this is the parking lot. Ah. <laughs> you came out with how many A's? It was four A's stars and five A's. To make it a total of nine A's. Form four? Yes, form four. How was it? It was amazing. So how do you do it? Do you like read every day? Or you're that person who just only pay, pay attention in class and then that's it? I do pay attention in class mm. and after school hours. Yeah. I look at the stuff that I do not know, yeah. and then I focus on that stuff and start reading it. So you focus on things that you do not know and improve on that. Yes. Do you think that a lot of students here should actually do the same? Yes, they should, because at times they are focusing on the stuff that they already know. 
neglecting the stuff that they don't know. Really? Yes. So that's, that's, that's your secret? Yes, it's the magic formula. <laughs> Which university do you want to go? I wanted to go to a university in Australia. In Australia? Yeah, particularly the University of Melbourne. Ah. So, I mean, here's the thing. A lot of people have no direction. They just do things. But it seems like in your case, you know where you want to go after finishing a level. I think I realized that after I was done with my phone call. Yeah. Because at first I wasn't actually sure I had a lot of things that I wanted to do. Okay. But okay. I realized I had to narrow my path yeah. and focus on one greater aspect of my life. So a lot of people should actually do the same. Yes, they should check out all their options, see what they love and what they are best at, and then try to pursue that. What have you learned at this school? Well, I've learned that... And gained. What have you gained? I've learned that school can be amazing, actually, because yeah. the environment that's here, it's amazing. Yeah. We're very comfortable with the teachers, and I started loving learning, and I've gained wisdom uh. and immense leadership skills. I wasn't really much of a talker when I came here. <laughs> <laughs> I was very introverted, but after coming here, yeah. they encouraged me to express my confidence more. So, it's very important for teachers to be comfortable with the students yes. and also at the same time setting boundaries. Mm -hmm. And it has worked here. Yeah, it has worked very well. What's your name? My name is Ongai Masango. I, I play football too. Um, I used to. <laughs> and it seems like you have achieved a lot more than you because you are playing for, for the national team. How old are you? I'm 14. How is it playing for, for, for the national team of Zimbabwe? It's amazing, quite scary at the same time. Ah, yeah. It's scary. What do you mean by scary? Competition. Yeah, just feel like there's a lot of pressure on you, and you just have to do your best. But yeah, at the same time, it's one of the best experiences I've ever went through in oh. my life. Ah, okay. So, did the school in any way help you to achieve what you have achieved right now? Yes, they played uh, an amazing role. They are the ones which found me the opportunity in the first place. Uh, and they pushed me to the limits of making sure that I was there in training. Yeah. And therefore the trials. Yeah. They even went to the extent of being there during my game, supporting me. That's nice. It's, it's amazing. Oh, I, what, what do your parents think about this? Oh, my parents are extremely proud of me. But at the same time, yeah. they put... Like they want me to do my best, so they still do give me advice, and ah, okay. they they do make sure I'm safe and I'm okay throughout the whole journey. Okay. Yes. So how do you balance sports and school? Um, it's hard. Yes, it's a bit hard, but for me, it's easier for me, okay. as they provide soccer training for me during the week, and I can also still focus on my studies. They really made it way easier on me and. They lessen the pressure on me as a child, so I am able to cope because of them. And I also have so many people who are pushing me. Okay. And I'm okay. always reminded of why I am doing this in the first place. So which, which club would you want to play for when, when you grow older? <laughs> uh, personally, I would love to play for a team like Man City. Ah. They are my favorites. I love them throughout, and I'm their biggest supporter. What, what position do you play? Oh, I am a striker, but I can alternate uh, my positions. Ah. I can go play on the left wing, the right wing, and go play in the center, like center attack mid. That's, yeah. a, that's a huge advantage. Yes. I, I wish you the best, honestly. Oh, okay. And Thank you. probably in the future we play football together, because I, <laughs> I, I used to play football. That's and good. it's going to be a tough competition because you're already there. You have achieved a lot. Keep on doing what you're doing and you'll go far, I'm telling you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. So, recently you were in Zambia. Yes. Doing what? I was doing athletics, running the 100 and 200 meters race. So you ran? Yes. Who is your role model when it comes to um, sports? Shakari. She's ah. a runner. Yeah. So you watch her all the time, learning? Yes. All her races, I watch them every time. So what, what, what do you want to do after finishing school, after everything, sports included? What is it that you want to focus on? Um, well, I want to be a lawyer. Really? Yes, 
and a national champion ah. for athletics. So you, you want to keep on representing Zimbabwe? Yes, I in mean, the Olympics. How old are you? I'm 16. You, and you're thinking of representing your country. That's huge. Yes. Yeah. The exposure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going far in handball. Yes, I'm going for an You are playing for under 18? Zim under 18. Really? Yes. That's big. Um, yes. <laughs> How is it? Like the experience and everything? Uh, for the experience, I say at first it was tough. Yeah. Because the trials, uh, it felt, felt so hard for me to adapt to what the others were doing. For example, the training, ah. but the likes of my parents, yes. she kept me, gave me confidence that she, I'll make it. Ah, that's good. Yes. That's good. So, what is it that you want to do when, when, when you're finished with, with school? Um, <laughs> you're always I, still thinking? I'm still thinking, but then if there are scholarships yeah. for sports, yeah. I would go for that. Outside the country? Yes. Because mm. there's more opportunities there. Yes. Hair council is fun yeah. and also scary at the same time. Why scary? Um, I would say it's scary because you know there are a lot of people ah, okay. uh, who are bright, who have many ideas and uh, there's this feeling that hits you that uh, tells you that maybe they have better ideas than you. So on a daily basis you're going to be that individual. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, exactly. okay. Also there's always going to be that someone who is on top. Yeah, who tries to bring in those excellent ideas. So at the end of the day, you guys, you are contributing, coming up with ideas on how best you can help people. Yeah, the community. community ah, the, the community, yes. Ah, that's, that's amazing. So you guys, you, you are in, in a club called Leo. Yes. I mean, what does it mean? What, what is it that you guys do? Well, Leo stands for leadership, experience and opportunity. Ah. So our main goal is, is, is to provide service above ourselves, is to put others first before ourselves. So we have service areas that we focus on. Mm. Some of them are hunger, eyesight, um, health, mm. the environment. So in terms of health, mm. last year we had a breast cancer awareness campaign. Okay. So on that war of the day, mm. we called it um, oh, the war of change. So really? yeah, everyone had to stamp they had in pink paint and make a statement that, you know, for change against breast cancer. That's a, that's a good impact. So let's talk about school life in general. How is it? <laughs> Definitely. For me to come to wake up and come to school, I need for <laughs> motivation. Today I was sleeping on like an intro is time for work to yeah. wake up. Yeah. Like, I don't have motivation to go to school. <laughs> I don't want to go. Like, nothing is motivating me. Yeah. Uh, and I have heard we get to a certain point like this, but we have to keep on pushing. Mm -hmm. I can give up now. Yeah. I can't. So, yeah, I just wake up even though I don't have motivation. Exactly. School is not fun. That's why I can say. <laughs> For you, how's school? School is hard because sometimes I have to be responsible for being a prefect and also oh, yeah. my school. So you guys are prefects? Yes. Okay. So sometimes I just have to be a hard worker, right? Yeah. So that I also do my school work and also the prefect duties, but school is tough. But we push. <laughs> we push and keep yes. on doing what, yes. what we are doing. How about you? Um, I don't love waking up. <laughs> school guy. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. All of you, you guys, you say that it's not easy, is it? Yes. But I can tell you this. If it comes easy, it won't last. So, if it's hard, it means that it's something that is going to take you far in life. Especially for school, I am telling you. School can actually take you far. So, now it's hard, but there's going to come a time that you appreciate where you are right now. So, yeah, it might be hard. So, what I can encourage you as young as you are, you keep on trusting your teachers. Don't do anything stupid. I mean, you, we're you, not promising, we're not promising. I know that you're not promising. Yeah, I know that yeah. you, you'll be doing like this, but <laughs> it's just you being students. I yeah, get it. I, I, I've been there. What I can tell you, Especially, I, I've been saying this to a lot of 
female students that I meet, don't do anything stupid with a boy because a boy can ruin your life and his life won't be ruined. Keep your head straight, keep on doing what you're doing, listen to teachers, if you have a dream, pursue it, don't let anyone stop. I'm telling you like right now, your students, you are afraid of ruining your reputation here at school. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But that's the, you see, that's the thing. You are living someone's life. If you are not doing what you want to do, following your dream or saying what you want to say, expressing yourself in a good way, I don't write to stubborn, you are living someone's life. You have to start living your own life. I have so much, I have so much regret that if I, if, if, I, if I'm given an opportunity to go back to school in Form 3, Form 4, I was going to go hectic in terms of expressing myself more. So take this opportunity. Don't be afraid even to participate in class. Those who laugh, let them laugh. But you, you've expressed yourself. So keep on pushing. Like I said, don't do anything stupid, although you did not promise. <laughs> <laughs> But please, make your parents proud. Because at the end of the day, you're going to grow old. You are going to notice the effort that they were putting in. You see? And you're going to regret most of the things that you were doing when you were young. So take this opportunity. When you see them smile, smile. Listen to them. They know better. And when they ask you to jump, ask How high? How high? Exactly. <laughs> so, that's it. That's it. And spread love. Yes, spread love. Pray to God. Thank you. So you guys, you're in Form 2. Yeah. And you went on to create something like this. Dishwash. That's, that's being creative. If, if, if I'm to look at you guys as young as you are, a lot of people out there won't anticipate something like this from you. How was it creating something like this? Um, yeah. It was a bit confusing, but uh, since our teacher was there to guide us, yeah. it was easier. And we had steps to follow, so it wasn't too difficult. So you were following procedures, at the end of the day, it became easier for you? Yeah, yeah. We are planning on marketing it and selling it so that we can get money to buy more uh, resources for the science department that we can use when we're doing other projects that we're going to do in the future. Ah. We can say that we're no longer scared because since we've been exposed to something new, we, we are willing to go out of our comfort zones and try something different that can make a difference for our lives.